Eight. Snaps it back. In the pocket. Throwing right side. Picked off. Near sideline. J.C. Horde. 20. And hey, you. Before you do anything else, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell each time we come up with content. All right, let's go. What's going on out there, draft geeks, draft nerds, draft virgins? We got JC Horn out of South Carolina, none other than the son of Mr. Cell Phone under the goalpost. But let me tell y'all something about this legacy kid right here. He's trying to chase his own legacy. He wasn't born with the silver spoon in his mouth. Well, that's how his play shows me at least. And I'm going to allow the film to speak for this kid's, you know what I'm saying, for himself, for his own legacy. Because let me tell y'all, this kid can play. So let's go. Now, you're going to see this first clip is from the South Carolina game. He's going up against a wide bunch on this one. And it looks like he has the deep third. And I want you guys to pay attention. It's seven yards off the ball. Has his third. Doesn't play hero ball. Squeezes the sideline. Puts himself in between the, the, the ball and uh, the receiver. Knocks it away. Makes a great play on the goal line. Okay. You're not going to see him on the screen on this one. Like, he's actually uh, man coverage and press coverage on the bottom of the screen. You're going to see a slant route. He's going to do a good job of, of shading, shadowing the receiver. He's going to shade that outside hip, come over and make a play and knock away the ball. Next clip, you're going to see him. He's lined up in the slot. And they're going to try to do like a like a fade uh, from the slot here. He's going to do an excellent job of shadowing the receiver's feet. Gets hands on them. Puts himself in between the receiver and the ball. Knocks it away. This clip up here, you're going to see him up top, right? And this is an actual run play. And this is the part of the game, if I had to critique one bit, is this. Sometimes he makes business decisions out there. Watch this, he's going to dip his head. Not saying that he's not a willing tackler. I'm just going to say he picks and chooses. Now you're going to see him on the bottom of the screen. And they're going to do a stack formation. And they're going to try to do a, a cross a route combination here. And watch as you see him switch off, communicates well. He's right there. And uh, quarterback, incomplete pass. So he does a great job of passing off right there and communicating uh, with the other DB. And you see him matched up up top with Jalen Widemeyer. And this is one of those plays where I talked about him making business decisions. He does a great job uh, getting off the block. And then as you see the runners right there, he kind of just dives his shoulder in there. So, you know, I would like to see him shore up that a little bit better. Here he is again, matched up against Widemeyer, who was second team all SEC, which means we all know who first team was. It was Kyle Pitts. So this kid can play. The fact that he's matched up with the tight end on its own of that magnitude means that he can maybe guard tight ends at the next level. So that's something to keep in your back pocket. Also, though, on this play itself wasn't necessarily one of the plus plays. Uh, he actually gets a little bit tangled up in a personal matchup. And then you can kind of see they, they use that as a pick and pull it behind him. So um, that, you know, it isn't necessarily too bad of a minus. But, you know, recognition could be a little bit better right there. Here he is again in the slot matched up against Widemeyer here. So this play right here is another run play. But see, this time it's a little bit different. You're going to see him not make a business decision. He's going to get off the block. He's going to shed the block and then make a big hit right here. He, you know, takes the brunt of it, but he showed you that he'll stick his nose in there. So it's just inconsistency there. That's all. And see, this is another play of him actually coming up in support and making a really good play. You can see him at the top of your screen. He, he he's making he takes his three steps, comes up, fires, fires off, and comes up and makes an outstanding play. So again, it's about whether or not he wants to do it. And I think that the right coaching staff can bring that out. And then this rep right here, he's at the bottom of your screen looking to impress man coverage is more than anything. It's just really just showing you he can, you know, disguise looks. Look, he's going to show up and press man and then he's just going to bail out and, and he has his deep third. And he does a very good job uh, squeezing the guy to the sideline. This next play is another boring corner rep, but he does his job. So he's, he's got his deep third again. You can see that he's in zone coverage at the line of scrimmage. You're going to see him bail, 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 stick his foot in the ground, use the inside shoulder to push the runner inside to where the help is. So that right there is textbook corner play. And so this play right here, you're going to see him. He's actually in man coverage. The receiver is going to run a slant. He's going to do like a dead leg at the, at the line on a release. And he's going to overextend and get inside. But I want you to watch this. Watch how he fights to try and get back over top and contest that play. Doesn't make the tackle, but it's still a good play. The receiver just won. A great offense beats great, uh, great defense every time. So uh, essentially, man, what I want you guys to look at with this guy is I believe he's a shutdown type corner. Uh, the little bit of flaws that he does have, I believe, can be coached out of him. And I think that he has the potential to be the best corner in this draft. 
uh, with with the things that he already does well. Has great hips. Uh, does a great job in his back pedal. Does a good job dis disguising coverages. Uh, when he wants to come up and make tackles, he can do it. Uh, has great hands. Uh, great eyes for the position. So uh, this is a guy right here that I definitely would want on my team. But let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, what do you think about J.C. Horn? Uh, where does he stack up against the other corners? And where do you guys see him uh, in this draft? I personally see him being in between the middle of the first round uh, or to early second round. It all depends on the workouts. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And also, make sure you guys hit the notifications button uh, each time I put stuff out. That way that you get these videos hot off the presses. All right, guys. Peace.